He finally did it. Alex Ovechkin has finally passed Wayne Gretzky's record for most empty net goals of all time. No, it's not the big record he's been chasing, which is the most goals scored all time. But anytime you can beat a Gretzky record, you've done something remarkable. It came in the dying seconds of the third period against one of the best teams in the league in the Boston Bruins. And honestly, this was a big win for the Caps and their playoff chances. They're six points back of the Tampa Bay Lightning with two games in hand, so the math isn't great, but they're still hanging around despite having a rough past month or so. But Ovi's really picked it up over the past few weeks as well. He's currently on a stretch of scoring 15 points in the last 14 games and also recording at least a goal in four straight games. I know those aren't insane numbers like what guys like Kucherov or McKinnon have been putting up this year, but it's a significant improvement from where he was in the first quarter of the season. I made a video about two months ago about Ovi's terrible start to the season. At that point, he only had five goals and 12 assists in 28 games. Over a full season, that put him on pace for just 15 goals and 49 points, which would have been far and away the worst season of his career. But since I made that video, he's put up seven goals and 11 assists in 19 games, which would put him on pace for 30 goals and 78 points over a full season. And what makes this interesting is that in the video I made two months ago, I claimed that Ovi was likely a little bit snake bitten or unlucky, as his underlying metrics all seemed to indicate that he was playing similar to how he did last season when he scored 43 goals and 75 points. But since then, it seems like things have completely flipped. Look at these stats comparing his first 28 games versus his last 19 games. At face value, his goals per game, assists per game, and points per game have all improved over his last 19 games in comparison to his first 28 games of the season. But if you look at his underlying metrics, they paint a completely different story. His expected goals per 60 and his expected goals per 60 on the power play are both down considerably from the start of the season, even though his goals and assists numbers didn't reflect this at the start. He's even shooting less in comparison to the start of his season, both on the power play and at even strength. If you look at these metrics alone, you would probably guess that his season got worse as it went on. But as we know, that hasn't been the case at all. Despite his slowdown in expected goals per 60 and in his shot volumes, he's still producing more on the stat sheet. And that's thanks to his shooting percentages, both at even strength and on the power play. This kind of stuff is what fascinates me about hockey. It's so difficult to quantify or predict how well a player will perform based on their underlying metrics alone. There's a reason that hockey is considered to be one of the sports that is most affected by the element of luck. Sometimes you might put up great numbers despite creating very few chances and just not playing your best hockey. Sometimes things just find their way to the back of the net and it seems like you can do no wrong. But other times, you might be playing the best hockey of your career and just look abysmal on the stat sheet. And it feels like Ovi's had that kind of season so far. Early in the season, his metrics suggested that he should be performing better than his goals and assists totals showed. And now, it's kind of the opposite. Lady Luck seems to be swinging back in his favor. And you're taking every bit of that good fortune at age 38 if you're Ovechkin. He's now just 60 goals away from tying the great one for most goals all time. Do you think he'll be able to do it? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for watching.